guys. I hope everybody's having a good day so far. Well, in my last toy review, I promised you I'd show this. I'd give a full review on it singly. Well, here we go. Here is Optimal Optimus. Stop just messing with you. <laughs> just a second. There you go. Power Rangers Mystic Force Solaris Knight figure. Japanese imported. Exclusively to the Japanese. This figure did not come out in America. Which is a shame. Because if you can actually see this, those are the American figures that look like um, what Japan usually does takes American figures and puts them in Japanese packaging. I'm going by Transformer standards. So, I'll go ahead and open him up for you so you can have a better look at the figure. Hold on a second. Here we go. Slurus Knight is clearly by far the best figure that Bandai of Japan actually created for their Power Rangers Mystic Force toy line, or should I say, um, oh, what were they called? Magi Ranger, I think. Of course, his cape doesn't come on him. You have to assemble it yourself. Just put the peg in these holes. And that's it. And it's pretty tight, too, so it's going to stay up, but um, if you move it around too much, it will eventually become loose. He also has his lamp blaster, or whatever it's called, even though it's blue. In which, in the show, it was gold. Okay. You can either put it in his hands, or you can put it in the hole. Put the peg in the hole. For articulation, he's got a bunch. Why can't Bandai of America actually do this? It can, it can do a full 360, but the uh, back here it gets stuck around the neck area, and I wouldn't want to scratch up his paint because he's good looking. Arms can go around a full 360. They can bend at the elbow. He can swivel, swivel at the elbow. He can rotate at the wrist. No waist articulation. It's okay. Not many figures do have waist articulation. Legs can go up, they can go back, they can go in and out. Arms can go in and out too, sorry about that. He can bend at the knee, swivel at the knee. He's double jointed at the knee so you can also bend it some more. Awesome! For accessories, he came with this, his uh, magical carpet. I don't remember what it's called. I know it was in the show a couple of episodes. So, um, I'm trying to remember how he actually sits in this thing. If he's, I'm sorry, he's supposed to be sitting Indian style. That's how you get him on this thing. It's a very nice carpet, very detailed. The sticker is awesome. I mean, it's like some kind of chrome almost. If you can see it past Solaris Night. It shines. It's nice. So, what's this thing supposed to do? Well, you just move it. It gets his cape out of the way. Probably have to bend him a little more. And it waves. See, it's moving. As if it's flapping in the wind. And he's moving because the cape is pushing him. But that's really all the playability you can actually get out of this magical carpet. He's stuck. You gotta be careful with the Japanese figures sometimes because they have a tendency to snap and break. I got that from the their common Rider figures. Wonder, but this isn't a review about that. Anyway, let's move on to a size comparisons now. Here he is with another one of my favorites, and a pain in the ass to find. Commander Kruger, or you know, SPD Shadow Ranger. 
For another good example, here's another SPD Ranger, Yellow Ranger. Yeah, about the female size. So, let's see, is he fully painted? Front is. Sadly, though, the back isn't. It's alright, though. I mean, I, I'm used to uh, figures not being painted completely. But, if it came down to him, I mean, you gotta have him to complete the set of the Mystic Force Rangers, and he is awesome. You have to have this figure in order to complete the set. If you don't get him, then what's the point on getting the Rangers? I mean, think about it. He can actually hold his weapon in both hands, which is awesome. I like that. So, overall, he is a truly hard-to-find figure, and also he is recommended, so if you can actually find him, get him. Like I said, and the latest I've seen him go for was about $70, but I don't remember shipping charges, so that's clearly up to you guys. If you want him, go get him. So that's it for um, Solaris Night. I hope you enjoyed this review, in which there are some people that actually do, and then there are some people that wish I'd stop doing this, but I don't think so. Please rate, subscribe, leave comments, do whatever you want, just uh, don't bad mouth my reviews. Listen, I just thought I'd let you guys know that I've been getting quite a bit of emails of people asking me, am I selling the stuff I keep reviewing? The answer is no. Okay? I can't tell you how many times I have checked my emails this week only to find out if people asking me if I'm selling my Mystic Force Rangers. No. The answer is no, I am not selling my stuff. I do not do reviews just to sell this stuff later on. Also to the guy, I will keep your name anonymous, but the person who keeps asking me for my Unicron for spare parts to create a custom Devastator? What the fuck? No, I am not going to sell Unicron just to be destroyed. And not to mention he was very expensive, so my recommendation is to check eBay, get your own, or you could do like I do. You could actually go to Ranger Board. There's people up there who sell stuff from Transformers to um, Avatar, stuff like that, you know. Just other figures besides Power Rangers. Or you can go to Transformer World 2005 and have better luck there finding a Unicron figure. Guys, my stuff is not for sale. Now, if I'm selling anything, it's going to be on Ranger Board or it's going to be on Transformer World 2005. I will have a sales thread. If I have nothing on there, if I don't have a sales thread, stop asking me about my stuff. It is not for sale. This is the last time I'm going to warn you guys about this. You know who you are, so stop asking me and stop sending me emails. Let's see, is there anything else I need to go about? No, I believe that's it. But for the last time, I am not selling my stuff. If you want something, check my sales thread on Ranger Board or Transformer World 2005. They're there. But other than that, that's it. That was just a little update I wanted you guys to know about. So, are we clear now? This stuff is not for sale. If you want it, check my sales thread. Check Ranger Board. Check Transformer World 2005, but stop asking me. That's it for now, guys. No more. Stop sending me emails and stop. Also, um, I've had quite a bit of spam on my videos, so um, don't do that. All right. If we're clear with all this, then this this is it. The review's done for now. Okay. Are we good? We good? All right. See you guys. Bye.